Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm pretty good. And you? How you? are you doing? I'm, you know, pretty good. Um, it was nice. I learned how to cook something new today, so that was pretty cool. Because I like cooking, so. Really? And yeah. what did you cook today? Um, today was sweet and sour chicken. Chicken? Sweet and sour chicken, like in the Chinese restaurants? Ah, okay, yes, I get it. Mm -hmm. So I learned how to do sweet and sour. That's chicken. nice. Yeah, and I also learned, um, not, ah, I can't, I don't remember if I say the name right, is I cooked um, chilaquiles. Yeah, I think that's yes. right. Uh, yes. But uh, chilaquiles. Salvador and chilaquilas or Mexican? The Mexican ones, because I think they're, they're the ones with the E and Salvadorians are with A. Well, I don't remember if it's the same word, but the, the Mexican one that's like with chicken and like a sauce and like with fried nachos kind of thing. So those are the two things that I made. Okay, sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was different, it was fun. So it was pretty good. We have, I have visitors for um, here at my house. So we had to prepare, you know, when, when you have visitors, you have to cook more food. So <laughs> I figured, why not? We will create something, <laughs> we'll create something new. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're gonna do is since we have a couple of people here already, um, we want to take advantage of our time for speaking and we're just gonna catch up on our day. All right, so I'll make a, a few small groups and we're just gonna take a moment and you know, catch up. Uh, ask your partner what they did, ask them follow-up questions, where did you go or you know, just uh, let's see what we can get or what questions you can think of. Okay. Coach, I don't know what happened. I'm back. I'm back with you. Back with me. All right. All right. Let's let's take a look. Let's see what we got here. Give it a okay. sec. Okay. All right. I think we got a couple. Hmm. Seems to be. Maybe it's a problem. I saw earlier there was a problem with YouTube as well. Um, that YouTube had fallen around in many countries. Yeah, I haven't been able. To, I was having a little bit of troubles uh, getting the into the platform. I mean, into uh, this uh, video conference. Uh, okay, so even for even for the conference, you were having some problems today too. Yes. Okay. Yes, I was. I was trying to log in before and not. And it was giving you some problems. Yeah, it will not let me in. It just give me like a uh, date and time and something else. Okay. But All right. not let me let me log log in. Okay, let me try let's try it one more time. Let's see if we can get this right. Hey Gladys, you're back. All right. I see sounds a couple back. Let's try one more time. Maybe had a little issue there. Are you ready to learn about reduced time classes? If stay and learn what they are about. We will learn today about how some other classes of time can be changed to modify phrases, but only when the subject of the other class and the main
main clause are the same. If you use time expression like right before. Are you guys having any problems? Before, any questions? Right after. After. And while. The time clause can be used. Let's study the following sentences. After I finish my work, I head to the office. Okay, uh, let's start. Uh, okay. <laughs> let's start. Uh, well, I I cooked today. Uh, oh, really? I don't know Do how like to, to say that. But, okay. Um, I don't like to cook, uh, but I have to. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. How about you? Uh, my day was kind of bored because I just woke up early to prepare my my breakfast. After that, I did a chores and I started to studying some courses that I have to complete online. Those come from another university from another country. One of them is from United States. The other one is from the UK. But it takes me a lot of time, so now I feel really tired because I have another class during the afternoon. Uh, this is the there. Uh, there are a lot of a lot of cars, a lot of traffic, and it's so complicated. Tensionante. Uh, where, where do you live? Do uh, you live in Santa Ana or where? Are you, or where? Chachuapa. Ah, I live in Chachuapa, Santa Ana. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The traffic in Los Chorros is always difficult. Yeah, it is always difficult. And why, uh, teacher? How do you say funerary? I can hear you. Funeral home? F funeral home. Yes, 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 that's right. Funeral home. Funer funeral home, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and, and then you, you, you had a meeting, you said, Daniel. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. I, I had a meeting uh, to speak uh, to speak a topic of my job. Uh, for example, metas or objectives, objectives and goals. Uh, no. ¿Cómo se dice meta, teacher? Objectives or goals? Ah, okay. Because uh, because uh, I just I just uh, make I just make. I didn't finish. <laughs> I need so I need to do some answer, some other exercises in the platform, and I think that it, that it was some sorry. Uh, the final exam. Uh -huh. Did you finish it? Uh -huh. I finished yesterday. Okay. Because I had I had problems with. Yeah, with such. With sus. Ah, oh, it is delicious then. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> yeah. Because in some parts of El Salvador, they just eat them, just fried, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm? Yes. I prefer it with sauce, with tomato sauce, right? Yeah, so do I. And mm -hmm. what about you, Elias? How was uh, your well, uh, About my day, my day. Yeah, in the morning I had to go to what well, I took my daughter to the gym because she likes to go. Life. And Roxana, you were yes. yes. What do you do today? Roxana, right? Yeah. Yes. Let's yes. hear what Roxana did today. Hello, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> we want to hear what you did today. What, oh. How was your day? My day was really busy. <laughs> I I have to uh, I have to go to work today. New. 
Yes, and, and we, uh, we, and we change, and we change uh, all of the, all of the plans. All of the plans, uh, financial and, and colocación de dinero, no sé cómo se dice. Uh, and all of the topics with my job. Mm -hmm. Is placing. Placing? Yeah, placing money, placing, uh, uh, I don't know, the colocación de moneda, I don't or dinero, I don't know. Uh -huh. You work at a bank or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Placing. Yes. Placing, placing, okay, okay. Like place, like lugar, no. Like the verb place, like poner. Uh -huh. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And what about you, okay, uh, Claudia? Uh, what about me? <laughs> yes, in my case, <laughs> in my goal, uh, did they go? Sí, de. And what yeah. kind of projects do you do? Well, there is just some kind of course. I don't know how to say it, but uh, solamente tengo que estar Sorry, I don't know how to say it in English, but it is kind of ordenar información. Ordenar? Yeah. Organize information. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Organize information and that kind of thing. Okay, like, like for report. Sorry, ladies, I can hear you. I don't know if, it's, if it is my internet. Art and things like that. Um, yeah. They're just little projects, I think. I think. Hi, teacher. Sorry that I came late. <laughs> no problem, Eric. It happens sometimes. Okay. We, were, we, were just, we were just practicing and catching up on our day and asking questions, uh, finding out mm -hmm. about what, what we do in our jobs and things like that. So uh, we're going to go ahead and continue. Um, those that are on the phone, you can see I sent the image of what we're going to be looking at. Um, and the idea for today is looking at time and looking at reduced time clauses. We're looking at the idea um, of reduced time clauses. It's first we need to make sure that we understand. Most of us, like when your partners were talking right now, you were talking about, oh, today I did this, uh, after or before, or different things. Okay. So the important is that here, we have a couple of words or expressions. We use expressions like right before or right after, which is different than before and after. So as an example, right after lunch, I brush my teeth. This means immediately or right before lunch, I order my food. This means immediately. So immediately before that action or immediately after that action, which is different than before. Because as an example, before lunch, I have a meeting. But maybe the meeting is at, at 9 o'clock in the morning, two or three hours before it's time for lunch. The same for after. After lunch, I have class. Or after work, I have English class. This can be several hours later. Okay? So right before, we understand it's immediately before. Right after, immediately after. Before any time. It doesn't have to be a short period of time. It can be a long period of time before the action. The same for after. It can be uh, several hours or a long time after the action. While is for two actions at the same time. So while we're studying English, we are also getting to know each other. So two things at the same time. Now, how does this help us? Well, when we're talking about reduced time clauses, all we're doing is changing the way that we say it. So here we have one sentence. It says, after I finish my work, I head to the office, okay? This is a complete sentence, right? But in the second one as well, after finishing my work, I head to the office. 
the only thing that we really did in order to make it reduce is we eliminated the time the pronoun so we didn't have to say the pronoun two times all we did was put the verb with ing you see the difference here is i finish and the second one is after finishing which means that it's just ing and we understand the activity is for you so as an example today after studying english okay I'm going to have dinner. We understand that it's you because normally you have to say after I study English, I am going to have dinner. So the reduced clauses helps us because it eliminates the subject. In this case, for reduced time clauses, there is no subject. Okay, as you can see right here, only the verb with ing. Okay. Here's another example. While I take my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five minute nap. So eliminate I and put the verb take with ing. So after taking my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five minute nap. It's the exact same thing. The only difference that we're gonna have is eliminate the pronoun or eliminate at the beginning and put the verb with ing. Is that okay for the reduce right now? Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay. teacher. So you can see here in red, the verb originally take, and then I just eliminate and put taking. Okay. And this can happen with several different sentences, with several different forms. Okay. Um, it, the ones that we mentioned are the ones that we can use it before, after, uh, immediately before. Okay or right before, right after, those are the ones. In the other ones, you just have to use the words the way they are, okay? That's the main idea. This one, we're gonna take a moment, that one's more of a listening exercise. So what we're going to do is we're gonna create our groups and in the, in the WhatsApp, you can see we have uh, five words, right before, right after, while, before, and after. And you're gonna talk about your day, but when you talk about your day, you're going to use these expressions, okay? So as an example for me, right before I prepared, right before preparing lunch, you notice I didn't say I prepared. I am eliminating that pronoun and I'm putting the verb with ing. Right before preparing lunch, I wash my hands. So I don't have to say right before I prepare lunch, I wash my hands. I only put right before and then directly the action with ing, right before preparing. So we're gonna try, you and your partners, we're gonna make the groups and we're gonna try to use the five. So you, each of you has is going to be responsible for making five sentences. Okay, coach, let me see. You say you say right after, right before, and what, what was, what was the other before, we have to use? after, and while? Correct, correct. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Right. Can you repeat it? Yes. Uh, before, uh, after, and while. Before, after, and while. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jose, are you on the computer or are you on your cell phone? I'm on my cell phone. Okay, you can check the WhatsApp. If you check I, in, in I, the. Uh huh. I already checked it, but it, 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 it only has the one that the, the cross, the while, the before, and after. Well, yes, I, I, I but it's okay. I will, I will take a no. look at it right now. Okay, no, no problem, no problem. And if, if not, don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure you have your partners for it. Okay. So. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna one more time. You're gonna make five sentences. Or you're gonna make you're gonna talk about your day, but you're gonna use the five expressions, those five time clauses. Remember, you're going to use the ing immediately after to describe the action. Okay, your partner, the the partner's job is to listen to make sure they don't make a mistake. Listen and make sure your partner doesn't say, "Oh, right after I have, right after I study English, I'm going to go to bed." No, 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 it's not correct because you said right after I study, and the idea is. Your partner is listening to help you to make sure you practice using the ing right after studying English. Okay, so we have two 
the, the two people or the people have uh, two objectives. One to use the ING and the other to listen and make sure you identify that your partner is doing it correctly. All right, let's go. Okay, you have to you have to answer with. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, forgot. Okay. After <laughs> after before I before leaving home, I remind I remind to, I reminded to take my my mask. Mask is what you say. What yes, you call it? Mask. Right? Yes, my, my mask. And uh, right, right after I arrive, um, my job, I start, I started working. Is that okay? Say it again, Gladys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, yes. Right after. After is después, right? Yes, yes, yes. I always confused with this. <laughs> okay. Um, right after arriving uh, my workplace, I started working. That's correct. Okay. Okay, yeah. good. Good. Because I feel you sick. The, you you I I feel like I have the flu. <laughs> I mm. hope so that is the flu and not yes. the coronavirus. <laughs> Uh, the hope. teacher is here. We can. Yeah, we can teacher. Ask you. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Teacher. Hello. I, I have a um, a question mm -hmm. uh, because I have a sentence, but I don't know if it's okay. The sentence is right after studying English. I going to have supper. That is correct. Right after studying English, I'm going to have supper. But uh, I have to eliminate the subject, right? You did. You, you eliminated the subject in the first part because you didn't yeah. say right after I study English. Okay. So you go directly from right after or from any of those uh, time expressions and you use directly the ING. Okay, and then I can use the subject. Correct, okay. and, and then you can use the subject, it's okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ernesto, did you have any questions? No, I just called you because of the of the youth of Roxana. Okay, great. How do you say you do that, teacher? A doubt, the doubt. Doubt, doubt, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, what? What is my aunt's class? My aunt's birthday? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. My. You are taking but, the class. But, <laughs> like, uh, that, that, that's the point. But let me let me let me ask you something. I don't know if okay. I'm if, if 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 I'm right or I'm not right, but I'm wrong. Uh, it is related to this when we are using mm -hmm. the the reduce. Uh, the reduce, uh, how can I say? Close. Close, mm -hmm. uh, reduce close. I just want to use, use um, the, 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 the adverb and then the gerund verb, the verb as a gerund, and then I'm going to use uh, the same. Simple present. Per, uh, the, simple, uh, the simple present, but then the rest of the sentence, I mean the next clause that I'm going to use, is going to be related to the, to the same personal pronoun or the same, uh, Subject, yeah. Subject, it is that virus. Yeah, it has to be oh, like that. Okay. 
you can you can say while 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 celebrating my aunt's birthday, mm -hmm. I'm taking my class. I, I take my class. Sorry, I take my class. Mm -hmm. uh, uh huh. That's what I'm thinking about. That oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. All right. Well, um, what else can I say, man? Well, at morning, uh, fr I frequently do this. Uh, while cooking my my breakfast, I I listen to music. I listen to music. Oh, that's nice. I I, yeah. I often do that as well yeah, and while taking a shower as well obviously i had to i had to cook uh also my breakfast and lunch for my brother and i i made uh meatballs with such and well right before ah and also i I study, I had to study for my English, for my, for my, for my, I, I, I forgot the word, for my thesis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and right before studying for my thesis, I lighted my computer on and working on it. Uh, searching information, surfing on the internet, uh, mm -hmm. trying to find a, another thesis or magazines that help me with my work. And um, what else? And I also uh, watch a TV series. And that's all for my day. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, and I, and for dinner, I, I ate pupusas, and right before eating it, eating them, uh, I washed my hands, <laughs> and that's so all. It's not that it, it was not a interesting day, but. Busy, but you know? it was busy. Uh -huh. So when when you have to, I could tell you. Okay. I'll I'll be waiting for your information. Yes, mm -hmm. yes but you can try. Uh, also, there is a a good app. It's LinkedIn. Uh, have you ever heard about it? Yeah, yeah, I have heard about that. It's, it's like an, an application where you, uh, where they are offering many, 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 many what opportunities, I guess. Yes, it's like a, a fa Facebook is, is social and LinkedIn is more for, for, for professionals. Ah, okay. It could I help don't... you too. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't have that app. I I I then love that. Yes, it could help you. Mm -hmm. So um, about another examples. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let me see. There is a problem that I don't have. After after I finish my after finishing this English class. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, are we, Erica? Uh, are we back in the main group? Oh, okay. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. Uh, okay. All right. We were lost. We we're lost there. Okay. Most of, the, most of it is very good. It's just a matter of practice, right? Because I know that as a tendency, we, we want to say the pronoun. We're used to saying, because I hear many of you stop yourself like, oh, after I, oh, and then you say, because there's no I, right? There's, uh, it's after finishing class or after working or while or uh, in, right before or right after. All of these are just the ING's forms, okay? So well, all we're doing is making sure that we're trying to use all of them. And hang on a sec, let me move here. 
So we just want to make sure that we're using them with ING. And really, the, what is the function? The function is just to save a little bit of time, a little bit of, of speaking. It's not anything big that we're going to be changing. It's just that. Um, can you use the other form? Sure. It's just, you know, people try to, especially in English, people like to use contractions. They like to use shorter forms. They always try to make it less, less and less and less. So, but both of them are fine. Do you have any questions or any comments any, about any of that? I think out of all the topics, usually reduced time clauses are the easiest ones to to understand and to get used to compared to all of the other more difficult topics we've had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty clear, teacher. Yeah, any, anybody, any questions? All right. About, about the meaning of one of these words that you just sent. Mm -hmm. I never heard not of, what is that? Not all. Oh, oh, okay. In the in. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Um, what Maria is referring to, uh, for those that haven't seen it yet, is to the last picture that I sent. The last picture is in reference to uh, sleeping habits, and sleeping habits. Not off is like when you're falling asleep. Look at look at my face. Okay, so it's like when you're. Mm. Okay, all right. That's not enough. Okay. That's scandal. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to, you're almost falling asleep. Uh -huh. Trying mm -hmm. to avoid. Yeah, well, no, well, maybe not trying to avoid, but that's the idea that, that, that that's the not off, that little by little. That's why, because this, this movement is mm -hmm. not, this is not. That's why the, the expression is not off, that it's kind of like that. And many times when it happens, you don't even realize it. Suddenly, you only close your eyes for a moment and then <gasps> you were asleep. Okay. And what about drift off? Which one? Drift, drift off. off. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Drift off is like when you're um, watching TV and then you fall asleep. You didn't even realize in the moment that you were asleep. Okay. Any others? What is uh, Hello? What did you say, Ernesto? Uh, what is the meaning of feel drowsy? Ah, feel drowsy is drowsy is a synonym of sleepy. So when you feel drowsy, is you feel sleepy. Uh, for example, if I say while I was while I driving my car back in, back home, mm -hmm. I feel drowsy. Correct. Yes. Or um, when I don't. Yes, when I don't drink coffee, I feel drowsy. It could be a side effect of or of a medicine. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Also the side effect. Mm -hmm. Or many people in the afternoon, like at three o'clock, when they feel drowsy, then they drink coffee. Mm -hmm. So the, remember, feel drowsy is drowsy is a synonym of sleepy. So if you feel drowsy, you feel sleepy. Any other words? Sleep, sleep like a log? Yeah, sleep like a log is nothing moves you. Nothing wakes you up. You are like a rock in Spanish, we say. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Toss and turn, what's that? This is where you cannot sleep. This is where you are going from side to side to side, that you are going uh, we not exactly insomnia, but it's close. Mm -hmm. And you're... for example, if I say uh, I toss and turn uh, the whole night, or something then like that. that is correct. I toss and turn the whole night is the entire night you didn't fall asleep. You were just moving from side to side. Okay. Mm -hmm.
And be sound asleep. Uh, that means the person is fully asleep. Maybe they are snoring or they are completely asleep. Not that they just fell asleep. They, is they are fully asleep. Okay. Any other expressions? Um, be wide awake. Ah, uh, yes, wide awake is that you are completely awake. You have a lot of energy. It's different. So when you wake up in the morning, you are not wide awake. You are waking up, right? A wide awake for many people is like at ten o'clock after they do they go to the gym or after they have their coffee and after their breakfast. Then okay, I'm ready. This is wide awake. Or maybe after taking a shower, and I'm wide awake. Yes, some people, yes. Some people are wide awake after taking a shower, which, which, is, which is very funny because this is a, a Latin habit to wake up with a shower because um, Americans and Canadians go to bed with a shower. Oh. And many oh. Europeans in, in, in those countries, you don't take a shower in the morning. You take a shower at night. The Martians do. Yes, thank you, Gladys. I found it. I found it really awkward because I was I was listening to a, a an American person and she came to the to El Salvador and like in the morning like you haven't take a shower. What happened to you in in the morning? And she was saying that that was really awkward to her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And for the Americans and Canadians, is is bad. It, it's really awkward that you don't take a shower at night. They, they consider it dirty because you are outside of your home with the smoke of the buses and the cars and contamination. And you go to bed and you take all this contamination to your bed. Mm -hmm. It's just, it doesn't matter. It's okay. not right or wrong. It's just, we have different mentalities for Salvadorians. We think of, hey, in the morning, this is how I wake up. This is my alarm clock. <laughs> I have to go to yeah. and And for us, it's also about presentation, right? We think that okay. you need to go clean. You need to go presentable to your profession, to your job. But for them, no. The idea is they only wash their face and they go like this. Because the, oh, night before, wow. the night before, they took the shower. And you have to remember another thing, very important, which influences a lot, has to do with the weather. Because when it's yeah. cold, when it's snowing, and you go out with your hair, even a little humid, it can, it can cause medical problems. It can freeze, really, like freeze with ice and how, yeah. all of this. So this is another. That's why in the movies... You always see like the children at, it's time for bed, have a bath, take a shower. It's always like at night that they do it to avoid these types of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like Gladys says, if every country is different because we assume that everyone does the same thing that we do. Like you never think Le about it. You know yeah. Besides teacher, uh, the other thing is they have air conditioning in their houses. So they are not sweating the whole night, <laughs> like us. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If anything, they're cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is the next topic. The next topic we're going to come up with with our partners is we want to use WH questions. We're going to be using what, where, when, which, how, why, uh, who all of these different types of WH questions. And we're going to be talking about sleeping habits. We're going to ask different questions, um, whatever questions you can think of. So as an example, I'm looking at Jose uh, Echeverria, and I think, oh, Jose, um, you know, what is the longest you have gone without sleeping? Really, Jose? Jose is gone. Yeah, I think Jose. That he's asleep already. I, Jose is asleep already. <laughs> he fell asleep. Oof. Okay, Jose. Thank you. Thank you for the example. But that's the idea. That's the idea. <laughs> so, okay. 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 Or I can ask Sandra. Sandra, uh, where is the most 
unusual place you have fallen asleep. <laughs> Don't say the restroom, please. Oh, maybe. The bus. <laughs> the bus. The bus. Yes. Okay. okay. But all of a sudden, I always waking up when I was really near my house. Hey. Oh, I never got lost. <laughs> I don't Perfect know timing then. I don't know, but I think <laughs> like <it's>, magic. <laughs> I think this is a Salvadorian power because yes, <laughs> it is. <laughs> you ask, and almost every Salvadorian can wake up before they get to their house if they are in the yes. bus. Almost every Salvadorian. No, 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 no. Two blocks, five blocks before I wake up. I, I wake up five blocks before my house, <laughs> or two yes. stops, or two stops before the house. <laughs> It always works. It always works, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but okay, you are... now we know your superpower, girl. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the idea. So we're going to make partners. And the idea is just make questions. You want to practice asking questions. Uh, no, don't worry, Jose. Don't worry, Jose. It's okay. <laughs> and we're going to practice making questions. And we're going to practice about uh, sleeping habits. You know, you can think of different ones. Uh, for me, you know, if you want to share with your partner, you ask them a question and you want to answer the question yourself, go ahead. Okay. So try to ask different questions. Think of different ways uh, that you can talk about the topic. Okay. You guys ready? Yeah, sure. All right. Yes. Uh, beautiful. I <laughs> I can think of any place. I mean, if it's comfortable, I think that is enough to to get up sleep. I can think of about beautiful. And you? Oh, uh, I can say that I fall asleep um, during a trip. When we were traveling to a park, and when I when I awake, it was a really beautiful view of the park because there were a lot of trees, and the weather was perfect because it was cold. Oh, okay. Do you have any other? Oh. Um, no, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Question. Um, <laughs> the one that the teacher said that where this place without falling asleep. I think it's interesting. What what? Uh, the most uh, weirdest or uh, strange place where you have fall asleep, fallen asleep. Okay, the weirdest, the weirdest place I have fallen asleep was just. During the, my trip home, when I came by bus, I was. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing. I think that I'm doing plenty pincher, but <laughs> but <laughs> it is not. A, I just I just want to have the the the, the Wi-Fi without interrupt interruptions or things like that that, that can. Yeah. You know, Otherwise, you can be asked in class. And do do not be able to answer like it just happened to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were yeah. talking about yeah. sleeping habits, okay. and we all thought that you were already asleep. <laughs> also, I fall asleep. I have fall asleep um, on my on the on my fac on my faculties hall. Hmm. Um, While waiting for class. And uh, yes, and also taking and taking some rest because of uh, the stressful life uh, at the university. But I think that's the most uh, 
strange place that I have fall asleep. The hall, the hall of my university. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, getting some rest. Getting and some falling. rest. Yes, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And you, Maria, what about you? For me, the most, the most uh, strange, I could say, was in the middle of the class. I was, I was <laughs> making the second specialty, second specialty in science. And, and those classes were Saturday from 7 a.m. to 4. I, I came home and, and take a shower again. Ah, okay. So, uh, so you live near your office? No, no, no. I, I, I am not going to the office right now. I am walking uh -huh. from home. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. I misunderstood. Okay, that's right. And... And on the weekends, do you, do you take a shower the same the same hour of the week and the same time? No, no. For example, on weekends, I take a shower maybe between 10 and 11. Okay, excellent. Yeah. yeah because it's, uh, I, actually, I don't, I just work from Monday to Friday. But sometimes in a while, I have to work uh, on but uh, are you what happened why did you quit uh it was kind of stressful a lot <laughs> some customers oh, were very difficult to try try with try to deal with the situations yeah i was in technical support also how do you say servicio al cliente uh, customer service. Customer service, thank you. And it was very difficult. Excellent. I used to drift off. I used to drift off sometimes. It's okay that sentence, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is correct. That's correct. Okay. I used to drift off sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I forgot yeah. the meaning of drift off. What is? The like meaning? watching TV before you sleep. Um, uh, sometimes yeah. it helped me uh, to the sound of the TV. Helped me a lot to get asleep. <laughs> because maybe I, I at night. Yes, 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 at night, seven hours. When I sleep, for example, five or four, I, I, I feel, I feel the velado sleep. I feel no, solo sleep is the velado. The velado, I is, don't know. What. There is no the velado. There's only I haven't slept. I haven't slept. Mm -hmm. ah, I haven't slept. A sleep. Oh, okay. I haven't slept. Is it the velado, teacher? The, uh huh. That's right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. When I, I when I sleep only only four hours, I haven't slept. I need, uh, por lo menos, como como se dice, teacher? At least. Uh, at least. At least, okay. I need to. I need to sleep uh, eight eight hours. Eight hours. Ah, okay. Eight hours. In my case, yes. if I don't sleep eight hours at night, uh, uh -huh. the next the next day I am very very tired at work. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, but I don't sleep in my room. Uh, uh -huh, uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. uh, even if. Really? Okay. Yes. I can say that during my night, okay, during my late routine before going to sleep, 
I brush my teeth. I order some stuff near my bed. No, I don't have clothes. A bunch of clothes on my bed. No, I just have some books and notebooks near a, a table oh, near my bed. But mm. after finishing all of that stuff, I, I lay on my bed. But I continue studying with my cell phone. But when I realize that I feel drowsy, I just... I just finish drip, drift enough with my cell phone on. And oh, when, yes. I, when I woke up in the middle of the night, my cell phone is still on. And when I check the battery, it is really low. <laughs> yes, yes that, that had happened. I to can me. control that. Yes, several times. Once uh, I was on the coach and like in that time I used to go to my many things that you have to do bro in your <laughs> in what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but no, you know, I I have get used to it since it's my day by day. Mm -hmm. All right. And let me know what time are you what time are you openly waking up? Do you wake uh, well, up early? I'm waking up. Um, if we say seven a.m., I think it's it is not that not that later, right? It is. <laughs> it is not that late. It's, it, it's, it's not that early as well. But sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. But after after that, I I I have to. Well, I I wake I wake I wake up uh, seven a.m. Even even though uh, if the weather is cool, even when they are not, and sometimes they are not making noise. But is is the I don't know. Maybe maybe I feel safer when I know that everybody is in in their positions where they are supposed to be at that time. So it's better for me having everything under control. If they are sleeping, I got the control. <laughs> <laughs> and you sleep very well without problems. See, sí. see, sí, once I, I fall asleep. And you, teacher, uh, do you fall asleep as up or not? Uh, you're, you're a mute teacher. Yes, yes, yes. I usually fall asleep really fast. Maybe, I don't know. Three minutes, four minutes. Wow! Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I I I know it's in. It's usually less than this because um, usually I put a uh, my there's a song. I put a song on to listen to a song to fall asleep, and I am usually asleep before the song finishes. And most songs are three or four minutes. So usually when I go to bed is the last part of the day, and that's it. I go. And sometimes in two minutes, I'm, I'm asleep. Mm -hmm. Why wow, that song? No, no, no. And no, no, any song. It doesn't matter. For example, a commercial. I, sometimes my, my wife goes to brush her teeth and put on a commercial on TV or something. And when she, I am, I'm asleep. I only watch one commercial or listen to one song and that's it. I fall asleep very, very fast. Like a baby. Yeah, but you know, I, I, uh huh, I don't have any, any any problems. So in this case, this this helps, uh, in order to go to sleep because I'm usually, I'm usually so tired from all of the activities I do in the day, because I'm studying at the university. I have my, uh, I have my kids. I have uh, classes. I have activities. I'm writing a book. I have I have so many different things that I do in the day that, <sighs> at the end. I'm ready. I, I deserve to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And don't you have problems with lights? Lights? No, no, no. Lights on, lights off. It doesn't matter. I can, it doesn't matter if the lights are on or lights are off. I sleep and my eyes are closed. I don't see any lights. <laughs> Lucky one. Yes. Uh -huh. Lucky one. <laughs> All right.
Okay, guys. I, just catching up, good. Uh, we're gonna, it's good making those questions, asking about the topic, using the, the times, the short, uh, the models for the time, the short expressions. Um, we're gonna pause right now. We're gonna continue tomorrow. Remember this week, uh, tomorrow is our last day for the week. So uh, we're finishing up, we're coming up pretty close next week, only four days. So keep working in the platform, make sure you get all the activities. I know some of you have finished and congratulations. Uh, wonderful job, wonderful getting that ahead. And for those that haven't, don't worry, you still have some time, but don't let too much time pass. The idea is to maintain, maintain similar to the class. Coach, uh, the, goal, the goal for this group is to complete the platform fast. That is, that is correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, you. teacher. Bye. bye. Take care. Bye, bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.